all changes this year. There was um, an urgency to share Christ like I've never experienced before. Everyone was so excited to share the gospel with someone throughout the week. And, um, everyone, I think, got that opportunity. And I've never seen such an excitement to uh, spread the good news about God. And um, that's something that for the church to pray for is that that excitement continues and that uh, we continue to have that urgency and that burden for the lost people in our heart and um, that the Holy Spirit continues to compel us to uh, speak the name of Christ to, to everyone we come in contact with. It's been a real great time at World Changers and uh, seeing how many people got saved through this. Yeah. 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 First of all, the, the job that I went to or was assigned to, I felt overwhelmed. This huge job with a crew of 11 people and all the World Changer people, officials kept telling me, have faith, you'll get the job done, have faith, you'll get the job done. Well, they didn't mean me, I'll get the job done, but I didn't understand that completely. Uh, one night, after the lights were out, I saw one of our youth praying. And I thought, that's what I should be doing. So I turned it over to God. I said, I can't do this. I'm leaving it in your hands. The next day, another crew came over, 13 people, with all the energy and exuberance that, like, fell out of heaven. I mean, the job just took off and we got it done. Second moment came when a, one of our youth, Austin Blanton, made a profession of faith and accepted Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. To me, personally, the entire week was a complete success if nothing else had been accomplished. The, the saying it takes a village to raise a child could be applied in this case it takes a village for a salvation because so many many people have been praying for Austin for so many many months and I don't think he really realized that because after he made his confession of faith profession of faith I told him that he had no idea how many people have been praying for him for such a long time and he had a surprised look on his face says people were praying for me I said absolutely absolutely God showed me through these young people through their work through their going out in the neighborhood talking to people they showed me that it's not that difficult it's not that hard to approach someone to talk to them about their salvation I think I've learned to, to put aside the fear of, re of rejection, and I know how to do it now. Um, in World Changers, in Memphis, that their poverty levels are completely different, and there their children are, are riding their bikes through sewage puddles, and here we don't have any of that, and their trailers are just trash. Like, oh, well, I kind of want to do some missionary things and like help them, but I don't really have the stuff to do it right now. Maybe later on. It was really cool. I was part of the Backyard Bible Club group, and we worked with a program called Street Reach. And they had different sites that they, that they did Backyard Bible Clubs for. And the site that we worked at hadn't been used all summer. And the first day, we didn't have any kids. There was no one there. So we just hung out and talked to each other and talked to some teenagers that walked by. The second day, we had four. And then we ended up having 17 kids plus five or six teenagers. It was really awesome to see how God just brought people in and gave us these contacts with all these children. And that was just so amazing. The whole time, I was just absolutely heartbroken at the conditions that these kids had to live in. And I really think that God is calling me to, I don't know, just work with kids, or whether that be here or across the ocean. I just really think that He wants me to do I went to World Changers thinking it was going to be a lot of work, a lot of roofing, and just hard work. It was. But when I got there, I realized that it was a lot of um, 
fellowship and worship and it just turned out to be a really good experience for everybody. When I was there about Tuesday night, I've been dead set on the military since I was about seven. And uh, I was planning on going to college with the military. But God really spoke to me and uh, he just told me that I need to go out in the mission field. And uh, think about going to Washington Baptist. College and the seminary. I think that God entered the room, especially during the concert of prayer. And if you could see 200 students praying on their knees at the altar and uh, truly lifting up their friends, praying with their friends, it was a moment that the Holy Spirit is definitely there. And uh, I pray for those that make decisions and those that have been touched, that they will continue in their walk. My favorite time of the week was uh, going to worship and spending that time every day of the week with the kids and just praising God and seeing the uh, love these kids have for the Lord. Probably the message on faith was the biggest impact in my life. Uh, I got there, uh, I was a crew chief on one of the construction projects. And Monday we just weren't doing too well. Uh, we had a pretty big project and the youth on the project were wondering, uh, we're not going to be able to finish this. I said, you've got to go on faith, you've got to go on faith. The message that night happened to be on faith and it was really something that helped me to redesign how I was doing things. The message was on uh, on what faith is, that God is who He says He is, and He will do what He says He will do, as a definition of faith. And to me, that message just spoke out, let God. So, the next day we redesigned how we were doing it, made sure that all the kids got out there and witnessed it, because they weren't witnessing at all that day. I kept on trying to encourage them and get them out there, we made it mandatory, and they had some pretty good witnessing time. Uh, one of the most wonderful moments is also when we were able to present a finished house, which the kids said, we can't do this, I don't know why we're here, because you know, it's not going to get done anyway. Well, it was finished with a half hour to spare, and we were able to hand, uh, hand it over back over to the homeowner, and she was in tears. It's just a wonderful moment. Hopefully, then the kids saw exactly why we were here. Well, to me, World Changers was probably the best life changing experience that I've had through my life. I got saved Thursday night thanks to. Miss Kim Anderson, and since that night, my life has completely changed from the way it was. I don't do half the stuff I used to. I want to live better. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it, but getting saved is probably the best thing that's happened.